An Accessible City is responding to the recovery plan to meet the needs of people and businesses. It's providing improved transport options for all users of all abilities um, and improving a range of transport options, whether that's by walking, cycling, public transport or by vehicle access. Less dependence on cars, more, um, uh, more reliance on cycles and better buses, so there'll be less bus routes, but there'll be more of them. When you go to wait for a bus, you'll be comfortable. We can balance the modal infrastructure provision to encourage modal shift onto public transport, into pedestrian amenity, i.e. wider foot, uh, footways, better, more opportunity to cross, more time to cross roads. Um, so we're not saying it's the end of the car, we're saying that there's uh, an, a, an addressed balance regarding the modal choices within our infrastructure. If you build better streets, people use them and they invest in them. If the slower people move, the more money they spend. So there's evidence around the world um, that if you get more people on cycles, everybody's richer. The slow core is going to be a particularly pedestrian friendly area, but the transport response to that has been to create a safe speed environment, looking for the inner part of the city to be a 30 kilometre an hour area to make it safer and more enjoyable for people within that great destination of central Christchurch. So parking is a very important component of the central city redevelopment. And what we're trying to create really is a, a vibrant central city uh, where parking supports uh, the activities, the businesses, the uh, office workers and other people that want to come into the central city. As we create uh, more cycleways, more pedestrian facilities, we're going to actually have to remove some of those car parking spaces. And therefore we have to think about, well, for those remaining on-street car parking spaces, who are we going to let use them? So that will be mainly prioritised towards your uh, short-stay visitors, your people that are doing uh, shopping, uh, certainly not your long-stay commuter car park parkers, and also for your mobility car parks, couriers, people that really need that on-street car parking facility. Also, we're looking at providing off-street car parking. Post-earthquake, population migration to the north and west has put excessive pressure on the road system to access to and from the city. If everybody continues to drive in the morning peaks, for example, we will end up with about 70,000 more vehicles a day coming into the city, which would lead to significantly more congestion than was present before the earthquakes. Um, if we can get a threefold increase in numbers of people cycling and using public transport, primarily for that commute to work or to school, you know, then we can ensure that the vehicles that are using the network can still move um, efficiently through the system. We need to make sure the system is uh, flexible and resilient to cater for both growth, but also for unexpected events. Cities are about people, and um, the city, they're about people and they're about commerce and sharing ideas and, and culture, um, but you have to be able to get around them, of course. But um, we shouldn't be designing a city from how to get around it first and then um, stitching the urban design into that. You'd, we need to know who we are, what kind of city we want to be, and then make the traffic fit that. We have probably the best design team and the best set of designers we can working on both Accessible City and the Avon River Precinct, different sets of designers, some overlap and it's really exciting to see such a creative group of people coming together. Then we're going to have the best contractors, we have a panel of seven contractors are the best infrastructure contractors in New Zealand so we're using them to deliver the project for us. Um, so that's going to be a lot of work um, but what we're going to have in the end is a, is a wonderfully green, accessible, safe city.